Hi guys, sorry about that. Who's here? Who's ready to do some karatsky? I'll just start anyway, and then I'll see who turns up. Hello, 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 hello. Excellent. Just give it a minute, see if anyone else shows. One, two. Excellent. I got Emma. Do some karate, Em? What else have we got? Where's all the usual gang in? Here we go. Excellent stuff. One more minute then. We'll have a quick warm up. Just to let you know guys, I'll have last week's kata, last week's sessions up on the app um, tonight. I'll share them to you. And then uh, they're all up on YouTube now. So if you want to go over it, because it was quite a complicated kata, if you haven't done karate before, it's all up there now. Just go to my um, Andy O'Brien YouTube channel and you see here I need down there. Alright? What else we got? I a dab. Okay. Come on then we'll have a quick warm-up. And then this week's working on Tenno Kata. We covered a little bit yesterday. Uh if I don't seem too enthusiastic, I'm a little bit under the weather guys, but I'm not dying or anything, don't worry. Just not feeling good. Alright, so from there it's just roll the neck. Couple of times, no hanging about today. Arms forward. That stretch this morning has got rid of some of the aches. I'm back. Cross, arms up. Cross, palms back. I had some good times in for this week's 500 rep challenge. It's an absolute stinker. It took me 43 minutes. So I'll be already be beaten by 10 minutes by Charlie Yardgraves and a few other people that have had a go. Give it a blast, guys. It's a full session. To take you up to an hour or more. Okay, reach. I'm back. Stretch, take it over to the side. Over to the other side. Uh, relax here, twist. Relax, we'll take the hips. A couple of times each way. Okay, you pass my watch, D. From there, stand with feet hip, hip, hip width apart. You'll be doing this in the cutter anyway. Okay, but we'll get, we'll do it. I'll just get stretched up. Step forward with your left leg, hip square. Okay. So we're pushing forward. Front foot pointing straight. Our knee should be pointing over the second and third toes. Which is how you should stand, how you should squat. Shouldn't have your feet externally rotated. Back foot pointed as far forward as you can. Okay, as long as it's not side on. Again, for fighting purposes, martial arts purposes, you can't get any sort of drive off that. Like a sprinter in the blocks, like I explained the other day. On the toes. Step it back. Step forward with the other leg. Again, this is pretty much what you do in the kata. And 
back, okay? From there, I'm going to step back with the right leg. And take your right hip back, just sink a bit lower. Nothing too much. Step forward, step back with the left leg. And again, take that hip back. Just lunge a bit deeper. And shake them out. Okay. So the first half of the kata is called the omate part. It's the forward movement. It's basically eight punches. Four izuki, four gyakuzuki. Four chudan punches to the body, four jogan punches to the head. Always start with the right side punch. Okay, always start with the right side punch. Okay, so the kata is called Tenno Kata, and this is the kata as it is done. It's not, uh, it hasn't been adapted for small space. This is how it was created. There was an introduction to Kumite or sparring. All right, created by Funakoshi, uh, the style I was brought up with, Shukakam was named after. Okay, so from there, the preparation for each move, each punch. Okay, so it's left hand under, deep breath in. Clench the right fist, withdraw it back to the head day, breathe out, focus. As I get to this point, my knees are already sinking for the punch, and I'm on the balls of my feet. Okay, I'm not flat footed, I'm already on the balls of my feet, ready to attack. Okay, so from this position, we step forward with the right leg through that center and punch Chuga. Okay, remember the head hand just above the hip, not too high and definitely not too low, it's just on the hip. And you're punching center of your own body, or as you got me in your sights, you can punch me in the chest, or what we always target is the solar plexus. Yeah, have you hit there once or twice? Once you get hit in the solar plexus, that's it. That's the end of sports, okay? Shocks the diaphragm, you can't breathe, and you drop like a sack of spence. All right? So there's your first punch. Step back. Back to your start. All right. We'll do exactly the same the other side. So this time, right hand comes under. We breathe in. Left hand withdraws. Breathe out. And again, my knees are bent. I'm on the balls of my feet. Then we're stepping forward with the left leg. Oizuki, chew down. Oizuki means stepping or lunging punch. Same arm and leg forward. Let me step back. Okay. So I'll take my time with this. I know a couple of you know it, but many of you don't. Okay, so that's our ready position. Back to the first punch. Just breathe in. Breathe out. Sink in the knees. Stepping forward with the right leg. And punch. That would be with speed and power. Then we come back. This is always controlled. Center and out. Breathe in. Right hand under. Breathe out. Right down forward, legs are sunk, ready to go. I'm literally falling, then I drive and punch. Oizuki with the left hand. Okay, so it's right, then left. Let me come back. So one more time with those first two punches. All right. So right hand punching first, so left hand comes under. Breathe in, breathe out. I'm already sinking. I'm falling. Step, punch, chew down. Let me come back. We hold that position for two seconds. Breathe in, breathe out, fall in, drive. Punch him with the left hand. Back to center and out. All right, so that's our first two punches. But the next two, remember right hand punches first. We're doing reverse punch, Gyakazuki. So exactly the same prep. There. Again, the way I do this, because I'm going to be stepping forward with my left leg now for a reverse punch and punching with my right hand. Okay, so it's literally a right cross. All right, I start to sink and I twist in my right hip back so I can really launch that right hip into the punch. Okay, so I'm on the balls of my feet, pushing through, then I step, snap through the hip and punch. Okay, so it's Gyakizuki reverse punch. Again, nobody really knows why it's called reverse punch because we're not punching backwards. Okay, but they think it's because it's opposite arm and leg forward. Okay, 
Then we come back, to your ready position. Doing exactly the same on the other side. Breathe in, breathe out, sink. I'm turning my left hip back. So when I step, I'm slightly askew, so I can snap that hip through and punch. Okay? So that's our third and fourth punches. So we do them again. Breathe in. Breathe out. I'm loading the hip. Fire. And back. Opposite side. So right hand under. Breathe in. We draw the left. Twist in onto the balls of the feet. And fire. And back. Okay. Have a little relax. I'm going to take this off. I was freezing earlier, but I'm not now. Okay, so all those punches, those first four punches, are chew down. Chew down means middle level, so that's between your shoulder and belly button. Okay, just below the belly button. All right, that's chew down. The next four are get down, uh, get down, Joe down, which is throat to eyebrows. Again, don't really target this bit unless you got a club. That's hard, okay? You punch somebody on the head there, you just break your knuckles. All right, so it's there. Below the eyebrows and throat. Exactly the same punches, just a bit higher. All right, so we'll go through them as well. So, remember now, right hand punches first. So just breathe in, breathe out. The preparation hand now points to where you're going, which is to the face. Okay, so we're stepping forward with the right leg and punch. Joe down. Same the other side. Breathe in. Breathe out. I'm already on my way. Punch Oizuki. Joe down. And back. Okay. Same preparation. This time the left leg is going to go forward. Because we're doing Gyakazuki reverse punch. I'm already loading that hip. I'm falling. Fire the punch. And back. Opposite side, so right hand under, left hand forward. Point to the target. Hips back, fall in, and fire. Okay, and back. So that's the entire first half of this kata. It's the easier half. All right, so we're gonna go through that now, all of it. We'll build up uh, speed and power. Then for the second half of the session, I'm just gonna run through the blocking techniques for the Ura backwards part of the kata. Okay? Awesome. So, ready position. Again, you can you try your boys. I know you prefer bow, seos, and to the ready position. Name of the kata is Ten no Kata. T E N, separate word then, N O Kata. Okay? Ten no Kata. So from there. Two down punches first, remember. Left hand under, breathe in. Breathe out, I'm loading the knees. Step, punch. Hold for two seconds. Back with control. Same on the other side, breathe in. Breathe out, loading the legs. Punch. And back. Remember, first four punches are two down. Opposite side, breathe in. We draw the right hand, breathe out. Left leg goes forward, right hand punches. My hips are loaded. Step through and punch. And back, opposite side. So, right hand under, push. Right leg goes forward, left hand punches. Yakazuki, reverse punch. And back. Okay, then we're doing exactly the same, but to Joe down. Okay, so breathe in. Breathe out. Step forward, right leg. Punch Joe down. And back. Again, guys, I should be mirror vision to you. Okay? So when I say step, yeah, you punch him with the same hand, basically, as if you're in a mirror. Now the opposite side. Breathe in. Breathe out, and punch. Okay, then back, then the Gyakazuki. Breathe in, loading the hip. 
breathe out. Good stuff. Come back. Breathe in. Breathe out. And back. And back. We'll do it again now. Just to point on that breathing, just to reiterate right back to the first week. When we do the breathing, it's the same as a <laughs> boxer punching. Yeah? It just adds that bit of tension, a bit of power at the end of every technique. It also protects your body. Okay, that <clears throat> you're clenching everything up. So if you get a sudden counter, you're prepared. Okay? And again, same as a shot putter, javelin thrower. They shout to add power. That's what the key eye is. It's just a deeper breath. All right? Certainly a louder breath. Okay, let's go back to that first part again. So two down punches. Let's do more. Oisuki first. Breathe in. Breathe out. Back. Opposite side. Yakuzuki, so it's the left leg forward, right hand punching, and back, breathe in, breathe out, right leg forward, left hand punching, okay, then exactly the same on the drill grounds, breathe in, breathe out, Oizuki, same hand and leg, breathe in, Breathe out. Back to your right hand, left leg forward. And back. Opposite side. And back. Together. Okay? So we're getting it. Right, we're going to do that now three times. I'm going to do it at my full speed and power, which isn't that fast, all right, but good enough. Just remember your stance, guys. Don't go wide. Yeah, you don't walk around like this. Well, some people do, I know. Yeah, your stance, your front stance is your natural walking, hip width. Okay, shouldn't be any wider. It takes your body outside its range of motion. Yeah, you can't move fast. All right, so everything is in that line. Yeah? Excellent stuff. Okay, three times, stick with me. It's not too hard, all right? Again, if you're new to it and you think you look like an effing idiot, doesn't matter, nobody's watching, all right? Nobody's there to criticize you, just move. Yeah, move, throw punches and enjoy it. Okay, so ten okata. Again, you higher grades. Rock on. Everyone else with me. Breathe in. Shake out, do it again. Okay, ten no kata. 
That's your mate with me. Your damn punches. Shake out. Do it one more time just to drum it in. Again, just think of that extending hand as gripping the opponent, pulling them onto a punch. That is what that Hickety hand is for. It's a pulling, twisting hand. That's what you can imagine. Nobody fights like this. That hand has a function, this symbolizes a grip. Okay? Okay, one more time. Terminal kata. Now this is the, remember this is the omate of forward movements. And last time. Okay. Okay, so those of you who aren't familiar with it, are you getting it? I know there's a lot of, a lot of higher grades not familiar with the kata. It's not one that's practiced a lot. My dad always taught it. So uh, his students should be well aware of it. And I love it. Okay, we all good? Alright. So, as time's rolling on, I will go over it a little bit. There is, there are two unfamiliar blocking movements in this kata which we haven't covered over the last three weeks. Over the last three weeks we've, because of the kata we've done, we've done downward sweep, the Danbarai. We've done knife hand block, Shuto Yuki. We've done inside block in Shotokan, yeah, Uchiyuki. It's, it's uh, Soto Yuki and other stars. They're watching me, I tell you. Okay? Uchi Yuki and Shotokan, it's Soto Yuki in Wado and in. Um, yeah, other styles. Okay? So this kata introduces us to. Let me think. Uchi Yuki. Okay. Free Chudan, a Gedan. Shuto. Uchi Yuki. So we've done those, three Jodan then, we've got uh, Jodan Shutoyuki, yeah, this by the way is probably the most functional 
block in karate or in martial arts that that is the one that works as a block okay um and we got what we call in shotokan sotoyuki outside block and in this case we're using it as a jodan block which is unusual because we always taught it from a young age as a chudan block okay and the other jodan block is agiyuki so you know four of those so i'll just cover the two okay the easy one first and i'm just doing it from standing okay so we got a jodan shuto it's literally a little to say it it's like a nazi salute all right coming from the hip up okay probably a bad way of describing it but you know what i mean all right it comes the reaction hand comes over so we're going to block with the left reaction hand comes over left hand and uh, and up okay cutting through this is a great motion especially if you turn the hand up the other way to stop a haymaker okay the big right hand comes in that will stop it dead okay as long as you tuck your head all right and you move in and follow up it's a great functional move okay so it's there and through okay so the opposite side, easy enough. Pick it, hand opens, recover, and go the other side. Yeah? Right through. So, under, through. Okay, so we just swap in, sweep it up. Jodan, Shuto Yuki. It's a knife hand block or a forearm block. So everyone's happy with that. Again, if you're not unfamiliar with these moves, don't fret it, guys. As long as you're making a move, you'll pick it up. Just keep practicing. We were all the same when we started. None of us had a clue. All right? Some of us were pressured into doing it properly, though. Okay, so that's your Joe Dan Shuto. Now, this one confuses all beginners. Okay, Soto Yuki. So we're going to go from there. Clench your right hand. From there, your right hand's going to sweep up and behind, so you're in this position. Okay, so Soto Uduyuki, outside forearm block. All right? Back in the day, we had people like Colin Reese with forearms of steel and wrists of iron. And this is probably one of the most painful, you know, you partner with those people and you feel it for weeks smashing on your arms, okay? Wrist to wrist, bone to bone. All right? Don't do that. It's an Udiyuki, it's a forearm block, okay? So, from there, this hand just sweeps around, and again, in this cat, it's a Jodan block, so your upper arm stays parallel to the floor. Generally, we teach it as a Chudan block with the fist level with the shoulder, okay? So it comes across, and again, we gotta stop this punch, remember? So that's no good, we gotta sweep it past us. So the punch is going there. All right, so the next punch is with the left hand. So the right hand shoots forward, very similar to the Jodan shoot or block, left hand up. Okay, sweep, clench, across your face. Okay, it's this part that lots of people have trouble with in the beginning, yeah? The reaction. So just keep moving with me, guys. Again, you higher grades. Do about 10,000 of them, full speed and power. You crack on. Or concentrate on your breathing. Get that tension in the right place. One, two, yeah? Come on, we'll do 10 more. I'm not going to go fast with this at all today, guys. You keep going, I'm just going to change angles for you to see. Five more. And 
Yame. Okay, shake him out. So not too intense a session. Again, speed builds with practice. Okay, let's get the techniques done first. All right. Uh, I'm going to do the entire kata now. So any of you higher grades who know it, join in. Okay, if you don't, just watch. Okay, because you'll be doing the ura part of the kata tomorrow, the blocking section. Possibly just the two damn blocks to start with. Uh, so the order of the omate, uh, the, the ura, sorry, the backwards part, uh, is all the two damn blocks first. So it's Kidambarai Yakazuki. Remember, you always block, punch inside right first. The right punch, the right counter side first. Okay, not the right block. So it's Kidambarai Yakazuki both sides. Then it's Uchiyuki Gakazuki both sides. Then it's Shuto Yuki Nukate both sides. Okay, remember to step back straight as you make the block, the front foot comes over. Then we go back for the Nukate. The Jodan blocks, the way we've been taught, is Agiyuki Gakazuki, Jodan Shuto Yuki, Jodan Gakazuki, and then the Soto Yuki Gakazuki at the end with the Kiai on the final Gaku. The actual way it was created was with the Jodan Shuto first, I'm pretty sure. I haven't checked Kunikoshi's book, but I'm pretty sure it was always the Jodan Shuto first. But we were taught it with the Agiyuki first, because that's the way that Sensei Kaze taught Mike. And I wouldn't argue with either of them. Alright? So we'll do it that way. Just in case Dad's watching. Alright? Okay, so I'm going to do the entire kata at the correct speed and power. You higher grades, if you know it, join in. Okay? Tenno kata. That's it, guys. That's it. Tai Kata. Gosh, I've got a chew on my jaw on my ground then. I think I'm right. I'll double check. Okay, so that's Tenno Kata. 
Hope you enjoyed it, guys. We'll cover it more tomorrow. Again, we'll do the Omite part entirety, and then probably just the Chudan Ura part. Hope you enjoyed. Half past five. We're going to do a stabilization session tonight. This is going to be slow and hard exercise. Sweet.